Okay, good morning, Monday morning. Um, hopefully, maybe you got up early, went for a little walk. You're kind of warm already. Um, I know I'm in my basement and I'm already getting warm and I, we haven't even started. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is just some shuffle steps side to side this morning. But once we get to the full side, we're going to take, so my left leg is planted to the outside. My right hand is here. I'm going to touch that outside of our, our foot. Okay, so just a nice little shuffle back and forth. Adding a little bit of a movement here this morning. Okay, we're gonna need our hamstrings and those hips to be moving well. So we're gonna get them warm this way, okay? So again, just shuffle. Inside hand touches outside that outside foot. Good. Truthfully, I'm a little nervous about the workout today. Um, I was digging in my backyard all weekend. We got an above ground pool. <clears throat> so I was digging out and leveling ground all weekend, taking out sod. Uh, it was a project. I'm a little sore today already. So we'll see how this workout goes. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Okay. That's it. All right, nice and quick. Fast shuffles now, right? Speed up those shuffle steps. That's it. Almost there, a couple more. All right. Already warm. Come on to the center of your space. We're gonna grab that right knee. Okay, pull it into the chest. And we're gonna go to the other one. Okay, four, four times on each side. Good. One more each side. Good. Last one. And all right. So we're standing up nice and tall. <clears throat> Grab that right foot. Okay, pull it into our butt. Knees together. Okay, standing up tall. All right, so with the, the workout today, I talked to some of the group before the workout started. Before we came on camera, I guess. All right, let's switch legs. Lots of new stuff today. Um, part A, a lot of complex work, right? So multiple movements for one uh, full exercise. And then part B, some plyo work today. I'm not looking forward to it, but something we have not done in a long, long time. So we're gonna give it a go again. All right, back to the right foot. Good, pull, all right, left leg. Perfect. Okay, stand it up. Actually, no, kind of coming to the side. I'm gonna show you my side. Remember our scoop, so front leg, right? <clears throat> nice and straight, dig that heel into the ground. Flex that foot, bend at your hip. Sweep the ground. That's the only problem with changing these days of our workouts. <laughs> I would normally do a workout on Monday anyways, with that is not live. <clears throat> but Fridays, uh, I am not working for the next little while, so I've just been golfing. So I haven't been working Fridays. So my last workout would have been Thursday morning. Come Monday morning, I almost feel like I forget what I'm doing. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, come on back in, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna take one leg, stick it out to the side, bring it back into the front, controlled, not super fast, but not super slow either. Just a normal, good speed. Okay, keeping that knee up as high as you can. 
that whole time. Good. For each side, now we're going to reverse, so front to the side. So while we're doing this, weight-wise today, guys, um, actually fairly low to kind of low-medium if you have. Okay, some heavier soup, chunky soup maybe, would be very good for some of the exercises today if you don't have any weights at home. All right, come on back into your space. Big step with that left foot. Okay. Left hand down, right hand comes up, opens up. Okay, keep trying to open that chest. Down, come on back up. Walk yourself back, last time. Big step, right foot, right hand down. Left hand's coming up and open. Good. Step forward, grab some water, and we will get going. All right. So, first exercise today, you can have two small weights, two medium weights, this one's gonna be interesting. This one will be fun. It'll be a little bit of a killer for you. Okay, so I'm gonna start showing you guys this sideways. Okay, so we've done deadlifts, right? Slight bend in that knee, bending at our hip, pushing our butt backwards, okay? For most of you that have been with us the whole time or for quite a bit of the year, right? We've done single leg deadlifts as well. We're gonna go and kind of branch off of that. So what you're gonna do is have two weights, okay? I'm gonna start with my left leg being planted on the ground, right? Slight bend in that knee. I'm gonna lean forward, okay? Come here, back up. From there, that right foot goes back into a lunge, okay? That is one rep. Now we're gonna repeat, okay? Same leg, deadlift to lunge, and come on back up, okay? So we're gonna do six, just down there on that left leg, then we're gonna switch sides, go on that right leg, do the exact same thing. Six on that side as well, all right? So from the front, it will look something, hopefully, like that. If you need to reset after you do your deadlift, so be it, and then you just do your lunge, all right? Let's go ahead, let's go left leg to start. So we're all together. It's my easier leg. If you're right-handed, it should be the same for you. So let's go ahead. Okay, slight bend in that knee, right? Leg goes back. Bend at your hip for that deadlift. Right, we've done enough lunges this year that you should be pretty good at those by now. Good. All right, maybe you feel like this is not hard enough. All right, grab some more weight. Good. Remember, keeping that <coughs> arch. So not an arch this way, not rounding that back, but this way, all right? In that lower back as we're going down for that deadlift. All right, other side, right leg. Might be a little harder for most of you. It is for me. Good job. Feel that burn in that front leg. <laughs> Good. Excellent. All right. So this one we can go a little bit lighter. Um, I'm gonna go off camera for a second. Apparently my kids were playing with the eights. This is one we've 
we have done before. Okay, so row to a back fly. So we're gonna get into maybe a quarter, quarter deadlift position, right? So we are standing up tall, soft knees, bringing our butt backwards. This is our position we're gonna be in. Okay, so from here, we're gonna row down and then come back up out to the side. Okay, so from the side or from the front, it's gonna look like this. Okay, row back down, fly. Okay, so we're going eight times with that. So a row and a fly, that equals one. We're going eight times each, okay? If you feel more comfortable bending over just a little bit more, you can do so. Just again, making sure we have that arch in that lower back, not rounding this way. All right, so we'll go ahead eight times. You probably won't need much weight here. The row probably feels a little bit easy, but that fly can feel a little bit heavier, right? A little more larger muscle groups involved in that row. Awesome. Standing on up. Now, fairly light here. I'm gonna start with five. See how it goes. This one's more a little bit of more of a prehab exercise, but it's gonna add a little bit to your shoulder strength. Okay. I have my right hand holding my weight. It's gonna start on my left hip. From here, just like we're drawing a sword if we were in back in medieval times, I guess. All right, coming up this way. 45 degrees across our body, okay? Up and across, okay? So we're gonna go eight times with the right arm, eight times with the left arm, doing the same thing, okay? So grab one of those weights, two cans, a uh, bottle of water could work, right? Maybe your water bottle. As you drink it, it gets a little bit lighter. That's okay, all right? Let's go eight. Trying to stay nice and tall. Just use that shoulder to pull that weight up. Try not to throw around your weight. Good. Right on. Eight there, eight the other side. All right, 45 degrees. Good. Right on. All right, grab some water. Round one done. Okay. I'm gonna maybe speed it up just a little bit here. It is a little bit longer of a part A. <clears throat> All right. Starting with that left foot. All right. If you really are struggling with your balance, what I want you to do, my left foot's planted, my right foot is just hanging out behind me. All right here, deadlift, back up and then you can do your lunge that way, all right? If you're really struggling with that balance, go that route. If not, go regular and let's get going. Again, resetting every time you get to the top, right? Just makes it a little bit easier. Again, if you wanna challenge yourself some more, you don't need to. Trying to keep that right foot up the whole time. I will be impressed if you can do it. Good. Once you get that six with the left side, we're going on the right. Maybe the left side is your good side. If you're getting to your right side and you can't balance. Maybe do that little modification here.
Right. right on. All right, weights down. Grab those smallish, small, medium, whatever you want here. Again, always taking into account if it was too easy the last time we did it, try to go up here if you can. All right, row to fly. Let's go ahead. Eight times. Right on. Come on up from that. Grab that smaller weight again here. If you feel like you can do some more weight with that shoulder, excellent. Grab some more. If not, let's go eight with what you had last time. Nice and tall with that chest. Good, getting eight, switching sides. Keeping that arm as straight as you can. Excellent job. Again, grab some water. We have one more round to go. Time-wise, we're starting to look good. Enough time to have a full part beat. I'm unsure if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet, but we'll know um, in about 11 minutes. All right, back to the start. Let's finish off part A. Okay, wait. Again, modify as needed. Okay, standing on that left foot. Deadlift, lunge, all right? Single leg deadlift, out to that lunge. That's it, keep pushing here. Almost done for this left leg. And if you're going by me, that might have been seven. I don't know. I'm terrible at counting as I'm thinking and trying to talk. All right, right foot. Let's go ahead. That's it for that one. <laughs> All right. Grow to fly. Last one here. Let's go ahead. Okay. Eight of each exercise. Almost there. Okay, eight times. Right side first, I guess.
Good. Switching our sides. Right on, you guys. Way to go, gang. Grab some water. Part A complete. <laughs> now we get part B. All right. So, like I said at the beginning, it is a plyo cardio day. So, <laughs> really fast movements for a short period of time. All right. So, that means. We are only going for 20 seconds. We get a 10 second rest. So most of you know what that means. We're going to go Tabata. Okay. So four minutes of that same, uh, I guess, work period, work to rest period. Okay. We have four exercises. So we're going to do each of them twice. Okay. First one. I don't know if you guys can see the line on my, on my mat, but if you have a line, maybe just look on the floor. Maybe there's a line in your carpet, draw one. Okay. So what you're going to do is step forward step forward, step back, step back. Okay. So you're always going to lead with one side of your body. And then when we do this exercise again, you're going to start with the other side. Okay. I did that very, very slow. We're going to try to speed that up. Okay. So front, front, back, back. Okay. That will be what it looks like. Okay. So start slow and start to speed it up for that 20 seconds. Okay. So you have 20 seconds to work there. Next one, hourglass. We're going to start with our feet wide apart. We're going to hop forward together, hop forward again, out from there, backwards in, backwards out. Okay. So you guys know what an hourglass looks like, right? Here and here and then here and here. Okay. So wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Okay. Jumping back and forth that way. Okay. Again, the bigger that you make these steps, the more difficult it'll be. So maybe start small and then start to speed it up, maybe get bigger as you go as well, okay? Next one, side, side, and in, in, okay? It's gonna look funky. Hopefully you can just see me on camera and maybe laugh at me, okay? So out, out, in, in, okay? Second last one, again, imaginary line, two feet hopping back and forth, okay? As fast as we can. This is going to be perfect. Four minutes, two minute stretch. We'll have you out here by 8.30. Okay. Start my timer. And then we're going. Hopefully that is clear as mud to you guys. 10 seconds we go. Oh no. Get out of here. Perfect. Okay. So first one, front, front, back, back. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Remember picking that line on the ground. Fast, fast feet. Five. Great. Good job. Your calves will be burning by the end of this, hopefully. Okay, hourglass we have next. So start wide at the back of your space. Go ahead. There we go. Good job. Almost there. Good break. Excellent. Quarter of the way through. Ready, side, side, in, in. This one's gonna feel really weird. Nice and quick feet. Keep breathing. Break. Woo. Hops, two footed hops, front and back. Ready. And go. Nice and quick. Five. Come on. 
Good. Halfway done. Everyone, way to go. One more time through each. Okay, front, front, back, back. We're switching our feet. Okay. Right, that other foot should be leading us this time. Come on, nice and quick. Good, stop. Three more to go. Hourglass. Wide, narrow, wide. Ready. And let's go. Come on, let's push here. You got more in ya. Break. Ready to go, three quarters of the way done. Two more to go. All right. <laughs> Come on. Push. Three, two, one. Stop. Last one. Two footed hops, front and backward. Nice and fast, fast as we can. Last one for today. Go. Come on, keep pushing 10 seconds. And stop. Way to go. Take a little lap around your space. That's it. All right, come on down to our mat. Take a breather. Nice couple big deep breaths. Both feet up out in front of us. Hands are gonna reach down to our ankles. Okay, grab both. Trying to reach every three, four seconds. Trying to get a little further, right? That's it. Keep pulling. Knees on, back of your knees on the ground. Good. Bring your right leg up over top your left. That left hand is gonna grab the outside of that right foot. Right arm is gonna hug the right knee. Pull both in toward your chest equally, right? You should be able to feel this in your hip flexors, right? Kind of in your almost glute, glute hip kind of right in there. Okay, keep hugging those babies. Get them nice and stretched out. Right on. Switch sides. Left leg over the right. Right hand over top of the left foot. Grab the bottom of the heel. Left arm hugging the left leg. Keep pulling, come on, stretch those hips. This side is always tight for me. I need to do this more. All right, onto all fours. Okay, finishing stretch for us. Okay, drop those heel or hips back onto our heels. Arms up over our head, tense our fingertips. Push our hands into the ground. Let that head fall between your shoulders. up out of that lay your hips on the ground arch that lower back look on up to your ceiling all 
All right. Come on up out of that slowly. That will be it for our Monday workout. Great job today. I will see you guys again uh, come Wednesday. Again, uh, 4.30 today, we have gentle yoga. And then Dwayne's on uh, nice and early tomorrow, 8 a.m. All right, so have a great rest of your day. Uh, get out and enjoy some of that weather because I did see a four degree Thursday. So let's take advantage <laughs> come the weekend. All right, see you later.